Welcome back. You got Will and Iman here from the Block Runner, Metazone, and Rovi. And today we're going to be talking about royalty fees on NFTs and platforms and the yeah. lack of, <clears throat> I don't know, standards. Standards, yes. Or I guess like uh, f- foresight, I guess, from the originators yeah. of these standard contracts that we all use. Yeah, and, it makes and adore. Yeah. So it looks like the ERC721 standard does not enforce or does not have a built in protocol level royalties for the mm-hmm. original creator of said NFT. <clears throat> Correct, but I mean, why would we expect that if you're just trying to put out some type of a? Uh, because because um, like how it, could it should, the it should be at the protocol level, but not it's it's up to the smart card smart contract um, oh, creator to yeah. enact it or mm. not enact it. So the reason why this is a problem now is because as NFTs have matured and taken off, there's the competitive landscape has gotten quite vicious, right? Yes. Yeah. To the point where we saw last year OpenSea was running away with the game, right? Everybody was buying their NFT products through OpenSea. Right. And then we saw a vampire attack. Right. I think a few of them. Yes. Right? X2, Y2. Looks Looks rare. Looks rare. And I think there was like one or two others, whatever. Very reminiscent to like, you know, DeFi days whenever like, you know, Uniswap got cloned and forked and uh, we saw the food coin mania. Yeah. Same shit, right? They just came up with a token. Everyone was like pissed off at OpenSea because it's starting to look more and more like they're, uh, I think, on the route to IPO. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For whatever reason, they just refused to uh, tokenize and, and it's, you know, join the Web3 ethos. So here we are. X2Y2 is running away with the game. And now they're they're servicing a sector of the demographic, which is the ones who have the liquidity, right? It's the DGENs. It's yeah. the traders. It's the, uh, That's the right. speculators. So now all these like centralized exchanges, they got to deal with this shit. Yeah. So right? the uh, there's a debate on yeah. honoring the royalties that these platforms have enabled. Yeah. And and X2 and Y2, they took the path of not honoring it. And so as a result, the, li- the pool of liquidity, right, these DGENs are going on to X2, Y2 because they get better margins on their trades. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. The buyers and sellers, right? Right. Yeah. Because you don't have to worry about, you know, what what is it? Probably like a one to to one to five percent depending on the the whatever platform it is the range is two and a half percent all the way up to seven and a half percent royalty damn that's a that's a that's a i guess uh scroll up a little bit more (laughs) okay that's a pretty chunky fee dude seven and a half so yeah i i could see if you're trading i mean that's damn imagine paying that like to i don't know a hundred thousand to binance every single time you trade a token yeah so yeah, imagine you're selling your board ape 100k. You're spending roughly seven thousand dollars on. Plus, you still got to pay, you know, Open C their cut. Yeah, which is probably like another two and a half percent. Two and a half percent. Yeah, ten percent off the rip potentially yeah. is like. So yeah. Now we have to, I guess, but as an industry, like wh- people are advocating, like you know, Yatsu and others, like these these royalties are essential. Like this is the only way for yeah. creators and artists to have a sustainability incentive, I guess, to continue to, uh, you know, expand on their IP. Like you brought up a good example, Bored Apes. Yeah. Right? How much do you think they made selling the 10,000 Bored Apes, like when they first made them? I don't know what it is, but it's, let's call it 10 million, right? Let's it call it 0.1 ETH times 10, 10 uh, so that's 1,000 ETH. Today, that's roughly like... 1,000 ETH is... Is that just like a million? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. If that were the case, then uh, Bored Apes probably wouldn't be signing deals with fucking Eminem and yeah. uh, Snoop Dogg. Right. They probably wouldn't be, you know, planning movies and books and, you know, merch deals and what metaverses, all this stuff yeah. that they're trying to do to expand the IP. Yeah. I, you, you can argue the only way they were able to do that was through the, the secondary action yeah. and the royalties that, that was enabled for them right yeah for sure i mean so I, yeah so let's we... let's have the debate does it make sense to potentially use a new erc7 721 standard a brand new one call it 722 yeah where royalties are built into the protocol level and it's up to the smart contract engineer who decides to spin up this smart contract to enable that royalties or disable it and then customize what it actually ends up being, like the yeah. percentage amount. Yeah. It's like throughout the entire so life of an NFT that gets traded around. Doesn't matter what the 
platform that it's traded on, right? Like it has to, as long as there's a transfer event, whether yeah. it's on uh, Magic Eden, right. OpenSea, yes. whatever exchange that exists, right. because it's a protocol layer, like uh, like data feature, right. it's going to auto distribute, auto allocate no matter what yes. to that origin address. Yes. Yeah, man. I, I, I feel like that, that should be, should have been the standard from to begin with. But, but it's, it's easy to say in the hindsight, right? Like, cause like when I, you're developing the standard, do you really, I'm sure they weren't predicting like this, this market to even like, maybe, come about. maybe Cause think about the time of the standard creation, you know, it was just, Hey, we just want to make, you know, some sort of a uh, digital identifier that's non fungible yeah. essentially. Yeah. That was probably the depth of like what they were trying to create. Yeah. You know, the crypto kitty. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, it came up to like OpenSea to, to take another step. It was like, this is like, art that should, the, the royalty should go back to support the artist. Yeah. Like you want to encourage more creators, right? Yeah. More, you want, you want more people because we built this platform that has leveraged this new technology. That's right. the NFT. Right. We want more people to make more of this stuff. Right. Therefore we make more revenue and our, our ecosystem thrives. Right. So the royalty was a great idea. Yeah. And it, 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 it took off like a fucking rocket, obviously. Yeah. And yeah, man, like, but the, the DJs, I guess, aren't, aren't happy, dude. At the yeah. End of the I mean, they're doing what they're supposed to be doing, trying to get the most out of every single transaction, right? It's, it's natural. But had the, the protocol supported royalties at the beginning, there'd be no choice. And the margins are the margins, mm -hmm. right? And so you have to adjust your price accordingly to support the margins and that's it. Mm. Right. If you're paying 10% on every single transaction, we'll add 10% to the cost and then you make your original, right? This, everything gets adjusted, right? Well, I don't understand like how this was not accounted for, but you, I, I think you're right. Right. Yeah. And the in real time, they weren't thinking about like, this is <laughs> going to support a mania. A yeah. multi billion four fifty billion dollar mania for yeah, exactly. like six months. They weren't thinking about like, what's the best, like a, uh, Sustainable. Standard implementation for yes, yeah, sustainable creation. It's it's not that. It's just yeah. like let's just figure out how to create shit on chain first. Yeah, you know? and then so what you're advocating for maybe is like a new standard. Yeah, that does account for this reality. Yeah, and then I guess you know yeah, um, NFT minters, smart contract creators, whatever they have the option now to enforce this. Yeah, to their creator base. Yep, through at the protocol layer, layer right? Yeah. So that's a potential future i guess like a fork in the road for the whole nft industry yeah if that comes about yeah they'll have to decide 721s or 722s yeah yeah and then it depends on the ethos this might be a very divisive issue in the future yeah. like shit you know what i'm i'm in the creator camp i want creators yeah. and artists you know to thrive and operate like you know yeah there's going to be a new um i, I guess tribe yeah. Right, seven twenty ones versus these seven twenty twos. Yeah, this is like what's what's the crypto or like the Bitcoin version of like this kind of like split in the ethos. Well, it was Segwit. Yeah, I remember it's something like yeah. this. Like, what, like amongst the community, there's always like a, yes. a division in Ethereum, ideologies. Ethereum Classic versus Ethereum. Yeah, which I guess was uh, what was that about? Do we support the hack or do we just yeah? Well, yeah, make it as if it never happened. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. So uh, the fact that these like uh, divisions are happening, sign of maturation to me. Yeah, <laughs> these things need to be figured out and like. Uh, yeah, not all is well in like the NFT space. Like, we, no well, one has yeah. everything figured out yet. Exactly. Like we barely went through the first mania, and uh, it obviously caught the world's attention. Now everybody's interested in this, but you know, yeah. through over time, yeah, we're gonna figure out little wrinkles here and there, just kind of like repair. And, uh, yeah, this is all part of maturing, dude, as an industry. Yeah, look at this tweet I like to from, see it. from Laura Shin. Um, she's saying, some NFT exchanges are not enforcing royalties. This guy makes the case for destroying royalties completely. Question presumption of high trading velocity. This is the reason music NFTs will never happen. Well, that makes sense. Music NFTs without the royalties makes no sense. Mm. Oh, this is interesting, though. Well, I'd like to, I guess we'd have to watch, what was that, like a oh, man, podcast look at video or managing something? Managing partner at Dragonfly Capital. Mm -hmm. So he makes the case of destroying uh, royalties altogether. Well, we need to hear that case, dude. Yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice. If you're watching this, lad, uh, Hasib, yeah. 
definitely uh, reach out. We would like to hear that case. And yeah, maybe we're just, uh, I mean, we're taking the side, of course, of the creators, right? Because we have a platform our, ourselves. Yeah. That is very creator focused. And yes. we understand in order for people to have any shot at building some sort of sustainable sustainability for their development endeavors or, you know, creative expansion. Yeah. The royalty is, is naturally part of that. So that's why like whenever we have our own NFT products selling through our marketplace, yeah, these, these royalties are naturally a part of that. Yeah. Check this out. Um, so we definitely need to listen to this uh, episode cause they break it down, but look, it's technically not possible to enforce these royalties. Hmm. And then it's royalties are aligned with the creator and buyer incentives. There you go. So this is like a technical debate, eh? Okay. All right. Well, we'll watch that and uh, report back soon on, uh, I guess. Yeah, this is interesting. <laughs> Potentially I'm, like our, our, our. I am fascinated with this. With what, this, this debate? Yeah. Well, the technical aspects of this. Oh, yeah. Of course. You know, because if you're advocating for something that's not technically possible, then well, yeah. shit. Yeah, then, that's then basically the yeah. creators are boned. Pretty much, which which is seems odd. <laughs> seems odd. I feel like this is solvable, but maybe maybe not. Oh, of course it it has to be. It has to be. We solvable. just haven't looked hard enough into it because, you know, I, I guess we never foresaw. Yeah. Just like the origin creators of the standard never foresaw. You know, the community would kind of like gravitate away from supporting maybe, creators. You maybe know? it's like the TLDR, it's, it's so early that sustainable compensation mechanics are not yet known. Mm. So there, maybe the claim is royalties is not a, a viable sustainable mechanism because you're, by royalties, you're you're incentivizing people to trade the asset, mm -hmm. right? And and. The opposite of, of uh, like board apes is like you don't necessarily want to trade. You want to hold on to it, and therefore the the value appreciates. So it's like, how do you have board apes, and like and, and expect uh, you know Yuga Labs to earn secondary income from board apes if everyone just keeps holding on to board apes and never selling their hundred thousand dollar board ape? Yeah, <clears throat> but I guess like the act of trading, what just exposes to market volatility is like a higher propensity for it or potential for it to be devalued. Therefore, like that's why you don't want a, yeah. a higher volume. But yeah, if, I mean, if that's what happens with cryptocurrency, right? The more you hold, the more the number goes up, right? Yeah, of course. But so what are they advocating for? It's just, just, you just, you just distribute content or creations and then just people just yeah. hold them for life and then who's ever going to buy them i guess it's yeah. like it's like art yeah you're right yeah it's kind of how it, art it is. happens you just don't you don't trade them very often <sighs> but that means like it's a very illiquid environment and if you're kind of stuck to that i don't think that's going to be like a very consumer friendly process you know what i mean I, yeah I agree. that's not something retail i feel like is going to want to take a part of you know which which part? Which uh, what are well, you the, the, like the idea of like buying assets and holding on to them for like, no, I agree. Long, yeah, yeah. That's, that's why it's not viable. You know that that's how rich people play their game because, you know, rich people don't need it. They'll need exit off ramps for their liquidity because they have an excess of liquidity, right? When we're participating in markets as like retail yeah. traders, like we need liquidity, right? Yeah. So we can bounce in and out of things and have you know. Some flexibility. Plus, you know, it's good for the creator at the end of it. Yeah, I, I think we're going to have to follow up on this because <clears throat> we need to understand technically why this is not possible. Yeah, this definitely applies to our realm for, for sure. So, yeah, uh, this is part of the NFT ethos. We'll definitely look into this some more. And, uh, yeah, we'll, I don't know, give yeah. our, like, much more well-researched uh, technical opinion. Um, I mean, look at this. The NFT market today has a liquidity problem. Royalty fees discourage market participation and drive liquidity away. Here's why zero royalty fees will be the new industry norm very soon. So he's advocating like the opposite. What, royalty fees Dang. discourage market participation? All right. We, we definitely need to go deeper on this because this is interesting. Yeah. And it comes from spiciest. So, yeah, <laughs> that means it must be spicy so <laughs> yeah making royalties optional is the first step to making the <laughs> nft market more efficient well shit i mean i guess 
then Magic Eden's doing it right then. Yeah, but they're not against royalties, but they're they're, they're making it they're, optional. Yeah. Magic yeah. Eden, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, optional or not though, dude, like uh at some point there's going to be like an obvious yeah, royalty or not. If it's not, then no nobody's going to put forth the options for royalty cuz no one's going to buy them, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so Unless you want to support the creator, then you you opt into the royalty. Well, but what I'm saying is if you're a creator and like, obviously the ethos is like, no, we're not going to buy royalty enabled products. Why would you ever implement royalties on your product? You, no one's going to buy them. Yeah. I see your you point. Know, you know what I mean? It's just, Dang. it's a very divisive issue. It's going to be either one or the other. It's, there's, yeah. no, there's very little middle ground here, you know? Dang. <laughs> All right. On that note, <laughs> dang dude. All well, right. Yeah. This is, this is interesting. All right, guys, let us know what you think. Should we, I, I guess, a protocol level support royalties? I mean, if if technically feasible, of course. And or do you are you on the side of the spiciest where it should be zero royalties across the board? Let you, us know in the comment think, section below. And do you think this is like one of the components that need to be figured out for NFT market to resurge? Hmm. That that might know. be the case. Could be the case. Maybe like when anytime there's like a big dilemma like this is when it's solved. Yeah, then that's it's like the, that's a rush. the juice for like a resurgence in the market. So yeah. this is definitely something to pay attention to. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, make sure you follow us on Twitter at the Blockrunner at Meadowzone.io and at Roby AI, and we will catch you in the next video. Peace. Peace.